Hello. And welcome back to the 2018 Beacon Santa Telethon. Here we are in the studio with J. Anthony Gareffi. And he has a very special book for us, which he's going to share, and also some music as well. So take it away. All right. So as uh, Charlie and Lucas have, have explained, I am the author of, uh, of this book I'm about to share with you. I wrote this story 25 years ago, a long time ago, but I'm so happy that I made it to this very moment where I can share it with you. Are you ready? Yes. Can we read it? All right, let's go, let's go. All right, so here is the story. I Caught Santa, book one, A Chris Max Carol. All right, keep that in mind, A Chris Max Carol. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. All right, first, first I want to introduce you to a couple of people, or a couple of characters here, I should say. This one right here is Monkey. And this one here is Paws. Now, when you see Monkey and Paws on the pages throughout the book, you can let me know. You can raise your hand. You can point, <laughs> right? Yep. So we, right? You can if you if you find them. I don't know if you're going to be able to find them. Yeah, I think Benjamin's. I'll find them, right? <laughs> Benjamin won't find them. Thomas is like he's not going to find more than me. All right. So here we go. I caught Santa, book one, a Chris Max Carol. We start with your neighborhood, probably, right, on Christmas morning. And who's leaving? Who's that? Yeah. Who's that right there? Yeah. Is that yeah, Santa? That's yeah, Santa. You know, yeah, that's right. That's Santa. Exactly. And he's left uh, toys for good little boys and girls like you. I know that. I know that's the case, right? Absolutely. I can tell. But, but wait a minute. Then who's this? Who's this guy here, then? Santa. Huh? Wait. Like Santa. Uh, he looks like him. I wonder, though, why would Santa be flying off here and then come back here? Maybe he didn't eat all the cookies? And he came, I, 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 I got to eat all the cookies. I'd have I to go back the for the cookies. cookies. You'd go back for the cookies. I know you would, Jolly. Right? <laughs> or maybe he forgot the keys to the sleigh, or maybe he forgot, he forgot to bring... How about we... No, because there's a guy inside the sleigh. Oh, that's true. Okay. It's not on autopilot? <laughs> no, no. <not. laughs> well, you know what we can do, Will? Let's find out. Let's find out. So here we go. I got up Christmas morning. There was snow upon the ground. I tiptoed out my bedroom door, and this is what I found. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> there were no pretty packages. Hey, something wasn't right. The window was open, and I saw a streak of red. <gasps> I caught the thief in flight. What is Thief. going on here, Gracie? <laughs> that can't be. That does. The, he, sit, sit. We have got to figure out this mystery, don't we? Yes. This is truly a mystery. So I sprinted out the front door and I tackled him in the snow. <laughs> and we rolled and tumbled until our skin turned red. And then he cried, Let go! He knows something's up. We got him, though. He's not going anywhere, right? We're going to figure this out, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to figure what this out. Doing? My name is Max. I meant no harm, but I've got none of my own. Presents, that is. Uh -huh. And if you'll be so kind as to get off my back, I'll leave you all alone. We have a mystery here, don't we? We have Who is definitely missed you. So it's not Santa. No, it doesn't seem to be. I think it does. It's Santa Max we have here, I think. So let's see what happens. Well, just then, my parents came running. My, <laughs> my, father, my mother came running. My father came running, too. Well, Max just lay there in the snow because there was nothing that he could do, right? So I told my parents what Max had done but that he was all alone, and then he apologized with tears in his eyes, and he said, I've got no home. So Santa Max, yeah, he's got no place. That doesn't seem right, huh? Should our family do something? Should they help? Should they help? Would they help, Gracie? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah. they should, but I don't know. Yeah. Will they? Will they? We're not sure. I think they're good people, though. I'm gonna let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh dear, oh dear, oh my. This will never do. The sight of poor Max in the snow, it touched them in their hearts through and through. 
All right already, my father said, well, I guess it's no big deal. What do you think? What do you think? Is Oh, you sit, <laughs> you got him, you guys, oh, oh, ah, good one, Gracie, good eye there. You found that stone. Did you find it? Did you find it? Yeah, ah, oh, right there, nice. Joey. Come on, Benjamin, you see, who else? Who else can find him? What's anybody on this page? Oh, and Bosom, they're good friends, aren't they? Yeah, they are. and they're in on the decision because they're part of this family, aren't they? Yeah. So let's find out what this family decides to do. Won't you come inside and warm yourself, Max? Did, did, did his mother yes. Give him, give what do you see? Yeah, <laughs> this, that's right. Snowman. It's a family of snowmen. <laughs> yeah. And I, I the, see you there. see him I, too. I, I see another snowman. It's uh, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of snowmen. <laughs> you saw the monkey. <laughs> The family invited them to share their Christmas meal. That is a great ending. Look at, look at that. Aww. Look at that. Um. They did, and look, did you see them? Look at these two, huh? Over here chatting about it, saying we're in the best family. They're the kindest family. They have compassion and forgiveness, right? And look at them over here. They couldn't be happier. Now, what kind of pre uh, Santa Max got a great present for Christmas, didn't he? Yeah. Right? Look at, he found new friends. They were kind to him. They forgave him. Right? Is that a great happy ending? Yeah. Is that a great happy ending? Sure is. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's some more pages here. Is there? How could, I thought that was the end. But there's, what? Uh, there's a song. It's a whole song. There's a no song. Way. <laughs> there is, shall we? Shall we do this? Shall we play the? Shall we play, play yes, the song? Let's go. Yeah. Will yes. you guys? Will you guys help me? Will you I sing the chorus? Yeah. You don't be a Charlie. Will. Charlie, you <laughs> ready to go? <laughs> Tracy, will you help me? Ah, uh, thank you guys. I am so excited. So I'm going to put the book down. I'm going to put the book down. I give it to my helper, my beautiful wife, Elizabeth, <laughs> and I'm going to pick up my guitar here. Okay, and we're going to practice it. Okay, we'll practice it the, the chorus before we before I go into the the full song. Can we do that? That'll be good, right? Yes. Ready? It's very it's a very simple chorus. So let me just get this warmed up. Okay, so it's going to say, I caught Santa, I caught Santa, taking back his toys. He tried his best to get away without making any noise. But I caught him cold with the gifts he stole, and I made him give them back. And I say, well, all right already, you found me out. My name's not Claus, it's Max. Huh? Can we Ready? do it? I think you guys Ready? are gonna do well. Uh -huh. I think you're gonna do well, <laughs> right? And, and, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go slow so we, we, we pick it up for the first time. <laughs> all right, everybody, you ready? Here we go. Got up Christmas morning, there was snow upon the ground. I tiptoed out my bedroom door, and this is what I found. There were no pretty packages, hey, something wasn't right. Hmm. The window was open, I saw a streak of red. Well, I called the thief. So I sprinted out the front door and I tackled the snow. We rolled and tumbled till our skin turned red and then he cried, let go. I didn't mean you no harm, but I've got none now of my own. Presence, that is. And if you'll be so kind as to get off my back, well, I'll leave you all alone. Here we go guys, here we go guys. Now I caught Santa, I caught Santa taking back his toys. He tried his best to get away without making any noise. But I caught him cold with the gifts he stole and I made him give them back. 
Yes, I did. Well, all right, already you found me out. My name's not Claus, it's Max. You got it. Well done. All right. It'll be easier the next time. So I told my parents what Max had done, but that he was all alone. Poor Max. And he apologized with tears in his eyes. Then he said, I got no home. No home, that doesn't seem right, right? Okay, you ready? You ready? You ready? I called Santa, I called Santa, taking back his toys. He tried his best to get away without making any noise. But I caught him cold with the gifts he stole, and I made him give them back. Well done. Yes, I did. Well, all right, already you found me out. My name's not Claus, it's Max. Yeah, Max. never do. The sight of poor Max in the snow, now it touched them through and through. All right already, my father said, well, I guess it's no big deal. No big deal. Won't you come inside and warm yourself, Max, and share our Christmas meal? All right, everybody. Ready? I call Santa, I call Santa, taking back his toys. He tried his best to get away without making any noise. But I caught him cold with the gifts he stole, and I made him give them back. Yes, we did. Well, all right, already, you found me out. My name's not Claus, it's Max. Well, my name's not Claus, it's Max. Well, my name's not Claus, it's Max. Merry Christmas to everyone. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? You were great. You did awesome. Now, I think you still have some Christmas spirit in you. So what do you say we do a few more Christmas songs? How about that? Yeah, you sing that. a few more Christmas songs? Yes. All right, well, my helper is going to pass out the lyrics to Frosty the Snowman. And I know for a fact there are a couple people in this audience that love that song. Right? Right, Benjamin? I know you do. I know you do. Benjamin's shaking his head, but it's true. It's true. Now, i got to put on my, my goggles for this. Because I need it, too. Okay, we'll just sing. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. <laughs> nice. I don't know how much this picks up. <laughs> yeah, Chris, you can have it, too. And, Char and Charlie will help you as well. Yeah. I'll help you out. He's a okay, are we ready? All I'm right. Ready. I'll, you, I'll, I'll, I'll lead off. Frosty the snowman was a jolly, happy soul. With a corn cup pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the fields of snow. Okay, Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. 
Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running here and there, sitting in the square, saying, catch me if you can. And he led them down the streets of town right to the traffic cop. And he only paused a moment when he heard them holler, Stop! Frosty the snowman had to hurry on his way. But he waved goodbye, saying, Don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump, thumpity thump thump, over the hills of snow. Bravo! Bravo! Yay. All right, we got two more. Who knows Rudolph? I know Rudolph. Rudolph. That is a, that Rudolph. is a, yeah, yeah that is a, <laughs> another of my favorite ones. Another of my, oh, much, <laughs> yeah. all right. Yeah, well, well, you, you, well, whoever, you just follow along, and, and, and when you don't know it, do like everyone else does, you just go, oh, double, 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 double. How would you do that? Yeah. All right, you ready? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him. As they shouted out with glee, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in history. Bravo! All right, we, go, we saved the hardest one for last. Uh -oh. Right? Jingle Bells. Now, remember, Jingle Bells starts out with the dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha, 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 bells on Buckfield ring, making spirits rise. What fun it is to ride and sing a slaying song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Bravo! Magnificent, magnificent. Now, I have one last question I want to ask, and that is, should I write a second book? What do you think? Should I write a second book? Yeah. Should I write a second book? Well, it just so happens that I am writing a second <laughs> <What>? book. <laughs> Can you believe it? I am writing a second book. And if, if you will reach right behind you, baby, right behind you, yeah, there you go. Oh, I'll take wow. this, and I want Look to show that. you the cover of that second book. Oh, wow. I Caught Santa 2. Book 2. Okay. I Caught Santa. What's the name of this book? Thomas, what's the name of that book? I caught Santa. Say it again. Respect your, Respect your toys. Now you don't have to wait until next year to begin doing that, right? <laughs> yeah. So this story here, I wonder if you guys recognize it. They're a little bit different, but can you recognize who, who those two friends are? It's Monkey and Paws. It's fun. Yes, they have changed a little bit because of magic, but they are the same friends that we saw in the first book. Now, what is happening here is, and you may not have known this, but when you break your toys, when they get discarded, if they're not loved, they magically return to the North Pole. And the Santa's elves collect them, and they turn them into the toys for next year. That's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. Yeah. But the problem we're having is, you see all these piles of broken toys, and they're coming from the sky, and 
The yeah. elves are trying to keep up, but they cannot keep up with There's all the many. toys coming from all the little boys and girls that I don't know if they're respecting their toys as much. So we have a problem that we have to solve, and these two right here are going to help Santa solve it. So that book, I'll why have it hopefully. Why is it sad? He's sad, isn't he? He's got a toy and he's saying, why? <laughs> I mean, I'm a squirrel and I know that this is a sad thing. <laughs> and look at Bunny over here. The helper, is, Bunny is like, I know we can do better than this. Uh. I know we can do better than this. And next year, I hope to be back. Yeah, I hope to be back and I hope to see your faces. And, I, and, I, and, and I'm going to share this book with you next year. But I have a lot of work to do to tell this story and to make all the pictures. Right? I have a lot of work goes into making all these pictures and to creating this action to tell a story. But I'm, and there'll be another song. Yeah, and you guys did so great next year. I hope to see you all because you're the best. You're the best. Thank you so much. Oh, you're Benjamin. You are sharp. You are going to have to find out what, where Max is. I think you're going to like it, Benjamin. I think you're going to like what happens. Yeah. So, we're, remember we talked before at the beginning? We have one more thing to do, right? So I'm going to put this down, and then I'm going to sit with you, and we're going to do one more thing. Okay, I'm going to set that right over there. There we go. So I'm going to sit with you guys, right? And we're going to look into the camera. Right? Which camera? Um, we pick, you can pick one of them, sure. Mm -hmm. And we're going to say, on the count of three, one, two, three. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to everyone. everyone. <laughs> bravo, bravo. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Great Thank audience. You. Thank you. And to Charlie and Lucas, our hosts. Great Thank job, guys. Coming. Gracie, we didn't forget you back there, honey, with Frosty. <laughs> we didn't forget you. I heard you singing, too. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's a wrap. All right. We'll be uh, right back in, the, in a little bit with an auction. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Send you over to radio. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, and welcome to our auction. So we are, again, joined with uh, J. Anthony Greffi here. And uh, we are, uh, he is actually donating uh, nine, nine. Uh, nine of his uh, copies of uh, I Caught Santa to the uh, Beacon Santa Telethon. So um, uh, what item number are they? It's item numbers 463 to 467, and then 469 to 472. That should add up to nine. <laughs> what happened to the 10th one? <laughs> That's all right. They got disappeared. Huh? That's all right, as long as it's in good hands. <laughs> I'll have to leave you an extra. Yeah. Perfect. So you see we have um, copies of the book, and it comes with um, a flyer and the... Nice little sticker thing there, but yeah. So, <laughs> so Charlie, that's the cover of the uh, the second book. So, if they, they buy the book today, they'll get a uh, cover of the uh, a limited cover, signed cover of the second book that'll be coming out next season, uh, and there they'll have are. a a a, um, a bumper sticker type. Uh, uh, it's low adhesive, so don't worry about it. it. Can go on most things and come right back off. So, if they want to stick it up there and and go and like us on Facebook, <laughs> I caught Santa you and like us on Facebook. Right? Also, on the back of the book, there's in the little present. Want to show us that? Yes. Okay. So, to 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 all you all you young folks, you know exactly what this is, right? A QR code. To some of the other folks at home, we don't worry. You can get there too. There's a, a website down here. You, if you have an iPhone, you just uh, uh, shoot that with your uh, your camera. A link will pop up. You click on it, and you can download the song, listen to the song on any any connected device. Uh, if you have a Droid phone, you'll have to have a, a, a reader app. But again, you can always go to a Chris Max Carol. Dot com and the song will play automatically. So yeah, any any connected device. That's awesome. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. So it's not just a book; it's a book song combination. Yay! Yeah. Do you want to discuss a little bit more about uh, what this book represents and what um, what uh, cause you're supporting? Yeah, that's awesome. So I think I mentioned earlier that um, I I actually uh, wrote the story 25 years ago. Um, I was, uh, I had read a, an article, it was kind of a, dis a disturbing article, they were talking about the rise of homelessness and, um, and, and how uh, the homeless population 
uh, you know, and, and the, you know, the, the, the folks with home, they were having these clashes and, and people were, were trying to figure out, you know, how, how can we get people to have more empathy for that, that circumstance? And at the time, I wasn't able to complete it, and uh, you know, I, 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 uh, life happened to me, but I'm, I, I'm so excited that I, you know, about a year ago, I found my way back to this story because it was always close to my heart. And uh, so the, when I finished the book in the spring, uh, I knew that, the, that I wanted to find uh, a partner, uh, a mission partner, because there's actually, a, this is going to be a series of three books. This is the first of the, uh, the three. Uh, the second will be Respect Your Toys, and the third will be uh, Home Sweet Home, which I won't, I won't uh, get into. But um, it's something that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm experimenting with, which is this idea of creative advocacy. So to create a, a product like this, have a message built into that product, and then find an organization that actually does the good work that the message speaks to. And so my 2018 partner this year is Wheat Community Connections in Clinton, Massachusetts. Now, Wheat and the Beacon Santa have a lot in common. Um, they both, um, uh, you know, uh, raise money, they distribute it, they provide services. And, um, you know, I'm really excited to be here today because I think that all these organizations, uh, we tend to think that, you know, I do it here, you do it there. Exactly. Right, Lucas, we talked about this yeah. a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, and so you had some ideas about, you know, how would you, the organizations coming together maybe have uh, much more to more, more Im be more impactful. Exactly. Right? You can amplify each of our messages. So when I saw when when I uh, I donated a book into the uh, the Maynard uh, Children's Book Library and the li Children's Book Library and is, is a wonderful man, mm -hmm. and he actually connected me with these these great young people here, youth leaders, and I could see immediately that there was that would be a good partnership and a way to amplify our messages. So the Beacon Santa is out there reaching uh, the the audience that they reach. I'm able to share this this message in, in the story of my uh, charitable partnership, and uh, there's I know there's some people back in, in my hometown that are watching this as well, <laughs> and hopefully they're going to call in and, and, and bid on it. And uh, but it's more it's more about knowing that we're you know uh, letting everyone know that we we are a team, we're on the same team, and we can do much more if we work together. And so that's why I'm excited to be here today is to be working with the Beacon Santa and to be bringing my uh, We Community Connection uh, uh, relationship and to kind of amplify our message. And that message here is that, you know, there are any number of reasons why people fall on hard times. And um, sometimes we get bogged down in the facts and the figures. But at the end of the day, when somebody falls on hard times, you have a very, uh, s a, a, a very simple choice to make. Um, you can help them or you cannot. Now this book has a, has a message that asks people to do that, reminds them that there are good people in this world and uh, they're really easy to spot, you just watch what they do. So that's, uh, that, that, that simple message is something I'd like to, to, to share today. And so, you know, empathy, compassion, forgiveness, those are the, those are the, the that's the bread and butter of communities. And I, and I hope that message came through today with the book. Yes, exactly. Thank you so, so much for joining yes, us today. Thank you for having me. And, and uh, spreading this awesome thank message. You. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. That's great. Thank you, folks. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, All right. So I guess we'll just hop right into our auction. All right. <laughs> um, then I, I will. <laughs> I'm caught up here. Thank you. Thank you.